What's up, team? How's everyone going? Um, winter warmer off to a to a good start to a flyer. Um, definitely need to warm up in this in this weather going on at the moment. Just got real excited yesterday with that great um, great temperatures we had. It felt like getting back into spring again, and then today back to winter. Um, but anyway, thought I'd made you guys make you guys a bit of a video. Um, we said we we're going to put out a lot of content for you guys in terms of. Um, goal setting and help you guys along the next four weeks um, with your goal setting process, getting to your goals, motivation, get you motivated, get you back into it. Um, and the goal for us really is to make this a regular thing. We're going to try and do this every six weeks, um, have a goal setting week. Um, it just gives you gives you something to train towards. Um, uh, have a think about why why you enjoy coming to Nine Round, um, what it is that drives you. Um, and that's why it's pretty good having these goal setting weeks so that you can write in your progress journal what your goals are, what you're looking to get off to. And over six weeks, you can then go back and see, okay, this is what I've written down. This is what my goals are. Where am I at the moment? Have my goals changed? Um, and what I want to get off to. So that, that's why, um, that's something that I find for myself is really good. Um, is do regular goal settings because even for us in the profession of, um, of fitness we don't have motivation every day for our workouts um, so yeah it's a good good tool to use um, so the video that I'm making today is just a little bit around motivation because um, it's something that we hear quite often um, it is something that is sometimes hard to come by uh, especially in the winter times. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna have a quick chat to you guys. I don't want to make it too long and drag it out for too long, but um, just about motivation. Um, and the first thing that's really important that you need to understand about motivation is you don't get motivated and then you train. Okay, there needs to be action, and that will lead to motivation. Okay, the only time that that really happens is in summertime is where you feel really motivated for um, for working out, for getting active, for being outside and all sorts like that. Um, but even then sometimes you go through a phase of where you lose a bit of motivation. So what I want you guys to understand is that motivation does not lead for you to coming into the gym. Okay, you unfortunately will have to take action first get into the gym, get into a routine, and that leads to motivation. That leads to routine, and that leads to, to motivation. So just a few things on that is, um, I, yeah, um, don't wait to be motivated to come and train because you're probably going to wait until summer. <laughs> and by the time summer comes around, you are going to be further away from your goals, and also you might completely lost your routine and it's going to be really hard to get back into it. Um, so I'd advise against that. If you need to just take a week off because of you need to do a bit of recovery um, or you're spending a bit of time with family or with holidays, that's fine. I mean, go for it. Um, it's sometimes good to take a week um, of just resting the body a little bit um, and then getting back into it. That first one back is always going to be be a bit harder but you're gonna feel fresher and you're gonna be feeling good um, ready to get back into it all right so that's the first thing that I want to get across don't wait for motivation especially not in winter time it's it's not gonna come um, so yeah I want you to think about and you can write this in your book is why you feel you're not motivated um, it might be Obviously, because um, I've already said winter time is hard um, to get out of bed. Um, it's tough um, to do morning workouts because it's quite cold. So change it up. I mean, if you have time to come for an afternoon workout, then um, then do that. But I want you to write that down so that you can hold yourself accountable. Say you finish work at four o'clock. At four thirty, you want to be you want to be at nine round. You want to be at the gym training. So write that down and how many times a week you want to do that so that you can actually check that off on your book um, and you hold yourself accountable. All right, um, so that's the first one. Um, as it's cold, it is tougher to get in. The second one is what is your nutrition looking like at the moment? Are you um, in a good routine with your, with your nutrition? Um, are you sleeping enough? Um, is your hydration enough? Are you getting enough fluids in? Um, and then is your recovery good? 
Um, and those things are normally a good indicator as well um, in terms of motivation. If those things aren't on point, then it will make it a little bit harder for you to um, to be motivated to train because if you don't eat well, you're not going to have the energy, you're going to feel sluggish. Uh, if you don't sleep well, you're going to be tired. If you don't get enough um, water, enough fluids in, your recovery is not going to be that great. You're going to be more tired. Um, and if you don't have good recovery, stretching, um, resting, then you're going to be sore and you're not going to be motivated to, to come in. So see what it looks like for you. You've got your progress journal right in there. Um, what's your nutrition like? And you can rate it from a scale of 1 to 10. Um, and then track it weekly to see how you're going. So your nutrition, your sleep, your hydration, your recovery. Um, so that's a good one. That's a good one to use. And then obviously, I want you guys to understand that your workouts are going to be looking very different winter compared to summertime. In summer, the sun rises early, the temperatures are nice, we're motivated, we're energized, the sun is shining every single day, pretty much. Um, so you're going to be motivated to, to train. Um, I listened to a podcast, um, maybe last week, and how they spoke about comparing your winter training to your, to your summer training. And um, you just need to make peace with winter. You're not going to be as motivated. So don't compare to how you feel in summer. Don't compare the results you saw in summertime compared to wintertime. Your energy levels, summer to winter. Um, so in your book, again, write down winter goals. What do you want to achieve during wintertime? And focus on how you're feeling during this, this time. So it's very seasonal. Um, and then summer, when summertime comes around, obviously we're going to have these goals setting regularly. Then you can go back again and you can say, okay, cool, we're into spring now. What's my goals for summertime? Um, and that's going to look very different again. So yeah, that's, that's, that's something that I myself, I'm not really given too much thought. Um, and it makes a lot of sense because now for me, um, it takes me a lot longer to warm up before my workouts um, because of the cold. I'm sitting here shivering at the moment. Um, it takes you actually um, stretching down, recovering a lot longer because obviously the moment you stop training, your body cools down and all the muscles tighten up and you're not going to feel as great during the day. Um, so that's something that I, for myself, is going to focus a little bit more on is not comparing my summer to my winter workouts, but actually have more seasonal goals for those as well. Um, and then the last one for me at the end of the day is also why, um, why is that your goal? It um, doesn't matter what it is. Um, I'll take, for example, I'll take myself, my goals at the moment is... Um, to work on some of my more skilled movements in terms of the training that I'm doing and also trying to get my strength back up. Um, and the reason for that is we got a competition in October and it's a team competition and I don't want to let the team down. Um, so so that's, that's what's motivating me at the moment. But what, what is your motivation? Why is getting to um, getting to the gym five times a week why is that your goal why is your goal I need to sleep eight hours a night um, why is your goal I want to lose X amount of weight before before that time why is that important to you because if you write down why that's important to you then that is something that you can actually look back on like for myself I can on the day that I don't feel as motivated it's like I'm, I'm gonna drop my team if I don't get my act together and work on what I'm meant to work on um, so yeah, it's a really good way to keep you, hold yourself accountable, um, is to write down those goals and go back in your book and it's like, you don't feel motivated that day, have a look and see like, okay, cool. This is my goal. Um, this is what I'm looking to get after, um, nutrition, exercise, recovery. And yeah, it's a good way of holding yourself accountable. And a good one is as well. How many times a week you would like to train? Obviously, write down best week five times, for example. Worst week two or three times. Make it realistic because stuff will happen. Life happens. But um, in that time, you still need to um, not criticize you for not getting to the gym five times, but two or three times because it's been a busy week and um, stuff has happened. But you're still prioritizing the gym two to, two to three times um, in that week. Um, yeah, so this is a few pointers. I hope that um, I hope that helps a little bit in terms of motivation. 
Um, and then the last thing I just want to leave you guys with is please don't wait for motivation. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's with the weather looking like this and all sorts, it, it's not going to happen. You're going to wait a long time for the motivation before you're actually getting into it. So let's 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 take action. Um, write down your goals, however what, what it, however many times you want to get into it. Um, and then that will lead to routine and routine leads to seeing results. And that's what leads to motivation. So, yeah, just a little bit from my side. We'll keep these videos coming. I hope this helped you guys a little bit on motivation. Um, if you've got any questions, fire them away. We'll have a Q&A on Friday. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, fire through those, those, those texts with questions that you guys got. And on Friday, we'll try and answer as many of those as we can. But yeah, that's a little bit from me. Um, great seeing you guys really off to a good start with the winter warmer. Uh, keep it going, keep those goals coming, uh, bring your books in, talk to the trainers, and uh, yeah, let's get off to it. Thanks team, have a good one. Catch you guys later.